Assemblymember Berry will ask about police raids and the Notting Hill Carnival. Thank you, Chair. Thank you for your question. <clears throat> the Met run complex operations informed by intelligence to keep the public safe every single day. This includes proactively ahead of large events to minimise the risk for all attendees. For obvious reasons, I'm not able to provide detail on the exact nature of these operations. Pre-event crime arrest activity is a legitimate and viable tactic utilised by the MPS in order to meet its priorities of preventing and detecting crime, protecting life and property and maintaining the peace. I'm happy to refer to events already in the public domain, Chair. The 2011 Royal Wedding and the 2013 G8 Conference are examples of where the Met has undertaken pre-event crime arrest activity. On the Hill Carnival specifically, the ambition is to make sure events take place successfully and safely. <coughs> Carnival is one of the most important events on our cultural calendar, and it's a fantastic celebration of the capital's diversity and vibrant history. Last year's Carnival, thanks to the hard work of our strategic partners, was safer than previous years, and we must continue to work together to maintain this direction of travel. Carnival is a truly unique event. The police are working incredibly hard to further reduce risk and improve safety and security at this year's event. I regularly discuss Carnival with the Met, and on Tuesday, I met with the Commissioner, uh, who provided me with an update on operational planning for Carnival. As you'll appreciate, given recent increases in serious violent crime and the continuing threat of terrorism, the landscape of planning for Carnival this year will be slightly different to previous years. The new Violent Crime Task Force plays a pivotal role in operational activity to reduce violence across London. The Commissioner has confirmed that operational activity in advance of the event and during the event will be informed by current intelligence and will be proportionate to the risk posed to the safety of the public. We must all send a clear message to the small minority who plan to commit violence that will simply not be tolerated. For operational reasons, I can't discuss the detail of the Met's plan for Carnival today. However, the Gold Commander for Carnival is happy to separately brief the Police and Crime Committee uh, on plans as he did last year. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, I mean, first of all, thank you for the strong support that you gave to um, Carnival there. Um, I think the whole assembly, the local councils, police and crime committee, we've all fully supported uh, the continuation of Carnival in its current form without ticketing, moving it, changing the days. Um, I'm also pleased to hear that this year the facial recognition technology that was used uh, over the past two years at Carnival won't be used again this year. I think that's really good. Um, but last year, many members of the public, particularly on social media, including art artists like Stormzy, complained that the heavily publicised police raids conducted across London in places such as Catford were being unfairly linked to the Notting Hill Carnival. So what, what do you say to black Londoners, people from groups who take part in Carnival, who say these, these policing activities being labelled as pre-Carnival raids is a slur on their community and their cultural events? Well, no. I'm not going to talk about specific, specific operations. What I can say is uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, you know, uh, last year, the Minister for London made representations to move Carnival, uh, as you're, and, and, I, and I was quite clear in my mind, those of us know the history of Carnival, and uh, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, on, on the day of celebrations here, uh, uh, they organised, and Janet Ardell was there as well, the Windrush generation who talked about the history of Carnival and why we have Carnival. And so I'm quite clear in my mind the importance of uh, Carnival. It's important though, if the police have intelligence of, of uh, somebody about to commit a criminal act or somebody involved in criminality, they've got to act on that. If we know there are people, uh, and it's a small minority, determined to use Carnival as an opportunity to commit crime, mm -hmm. the police have to act on that. And the reality is this, the vast, vast, vast majority of people who go to Carnival, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people go for good reasons to celebrate Carnival, there is a small minority who go to commit acts of <coughs> cr cr criminality. And uh, that's a fact. Uh, and, and we would be criticising the police if they weren't acting on that intelligence. And so uh, the police must act on intelligence. Uh, but nobody should label an entire community, uh, and nobody is. Yeah, so the worry is about the labelling, really. I mean, the raids, they may need to be carried out. We've, we've seen the task force. They carry out raids daily when, when operationally needed. Um, but it's the publicity that seems to worry me. These raids are not just carried out. They're, they're heavily publicised and linked to the carnival. So don't you agree this pushes a negative image of carnival rather than what should be a positive one? It's, it's a great event. It generates tens of millions for, for London's economy every year. Well, I, mean, I, I deliberately gave two examples in the public domain where the police have undertaken pre-event raids. Uh, the Royal Wedding, nobody was suggesting, I'm sure, that William or Kate are criminals, uh, even though there were pre-event raids before their wedding. 
similarly in 2013, the G8 world leaders, nobody suggested they were criminals. Nobody should suggest that the vast, 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 vast majority of those who go to carnival are, are, are criminals. But there is a small, small number, a very small number, who go along to commit acts of uh, criminality. And uh, I support the police in taking action uh, against those. What's clear, though, is nobody should uh, make sweeping generalizations about an entire community. Yeah, or, or I, I particular don't. events. That's, I think, I mean, I just, I'm running out of time, but um, I hope you'll encourage them to think about the perception of Carnival when doing press releases. I know you don't get involved in operational matters, but publicity, I think you can have an influence on. Well, I will, but can I just say this as well, Chair, which is really important. Many of us enjoy Carnival, including police officers, but it is a challenging day for the police. And, you know, and, and, I, and I, you know, don't apologise for making this point. It's a great day. We all have a great day. The police work incredibly hard. Often it's really hot uh, and they're wearing lots of gear. And, uh, you know, they have my huge gratitude for making sure Carnival is as safe as, as it can be.